and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marisa and I'm here on YouTube to talk about all things curly hair. So today's video is sort of an off the cuff one. Um, I wanted to talk to you about the wash day that I had yesterday and a stupid thing that I did <laughs> or something that I didn't do uh, would be a more accurate description of what happened. So you may have seen, um, I think it's two videos ago on my channel, I shared uh, what happened and um, when I kind of almost went into protein overload so I had all this kind of angry frizz and I managed to sort it within that one wash day by rinsing out the protein leave-in and adding a moisturizing leave-in but ever since that wash day my hair has been fine it's not been in like protein overload but it's just not been a hundred percent right and it's still been feeling a little bit dry when I washed it last time it was like four or five days ago um, I washed it, did everything, used products that I know my hair loves, and my hair just looked quite frizzy and it felt bad, like it felt really dry and quite rough, but I wasn't using a load of protein products, so I was really confused. Um, so then when I went to wash it yesterday, I thought, right, I'm gonna deep condition it, which is something that I rarely do because my hair tends to be on the easily over-moisturized and over-conditioned side. So I rarely deep condition these days. Um, if anything, it's usually like a protein treatment or a bonding treatment. But I decided to deep condition and I used the Curl Smith Hydro Cream Soothing Mask, which is from their scalp line, it's a fantastic mask. Um, and so I left that on probably about half an hour and then rinsed it out. I always, side note, I always do my deep conditioning before I wash my hair because my hair is fine and kind of easily weighed down. I prefer to do it like that, which is sometimes known as a pre-poo because you get the goodness and the moisture from the mask but then because you wash your hair afterwards, it, it makes sure that none of that mask is left on your hair and it stops my hair from being weighed down. That was something I started doing right at the start of my curly journey and it's made such a difference. So if you find deep conditioning weighs your hair down, then I definitely recommend trying it that way around. So anyway, I did that. I washed it out. Um, I think I co-washed, I used the Umberto Janini Banana Co-Wash, which I adore. And and it, but then even as I had rinsed that out, I was looking, you know, I had my hair over like I normally do and I was looking at it and it just wasn't right. Like it was clumping, but there was still a lot of wet frizz um, and it still felt, even though it was conditioned, it still felt just a little bit rough. And I thought, but I've just done this protein free deep conditioner on it. It can't still be protein that's the issue. Like what's the problem? And literally it came to me in a flash. When is the last time I clarified my hair? and I couldn't remember. And I thought, oh heck, there you go. That is the problem right there. I haven't clarified my hair in so long. Now my favorite clarifying shampoo is the Naughty um, Detox Dynamo Shampoo. As you can see, that's nearly finished. This stuff is absolutely brilliant. It's sulfate free, but very, very clarifying and it's chelating, which means it removes hard water buildup from the hair. Um, even though I live in a soft water area, still over time, you know, so many things can build up on our hair and our scalps, even if it's just like pollutants from the atmosphere, all the products and things we use. Um, so I, with my hair dripping wet, like partway through washing it, I ran upstairs to get this. And almost as soon as I put it in my hair and lathered it up a bit, rinsed it out and my hair felt softer, like instantly. Normally you think of, you might equate kind of clarifying with being harsher and therefore making your hair drier. But if you have build up, and then you remove that buildup, you can feel your hair again underneath the buildup and that is what happened. And straight away, before I even added any conditioner, I could see that my clumps were all sitting smoother and it was so much better. So, um, this stuff came to the rescue for me yesterday. So after I did that, I used a, a, a very moisturizing conditioner. I used the Curl Smith um, calming conditioner from the scalp line. And then I did an entirely Trey Lux styling routine and I filmed that for a reel that I was doing for Instagram. But I have the footage so I will show you exactly what I did because it was a fantastic wash day. So I started off with the Trey Lux Anti The Not Leaving Conditioner which is a fabulous leave-in conditioner. It smells amazing. And as you can see, my hair's already kind of split over from doing split styling when I did my conditioning. And I'm just gonna rake through the leave-in conditioner just to get it really thoroughly distributed in my hair. And you can see that those clumps are still being um, maintained there as I'm doing that. I'm just raking it slightly away from my head so that it doesn't get stuck to my scalp. Smoothing it through with praying hands. And then I'm going to flip upright by kind of gently moving my body um, around and letting the hair fall and giving it my head a shake so that it can just 
fall away from my scalp using my hands to help as well. And then I'm just micro plopping with my perfect hair care towel, just a, a quick squeeze to get rid of excess water. Now I'm going in with the Trelux 4 in 1 uh, Curl Cream, which is really amazing stuff, very concentrated. You don't need much, as you can see there. It looks like I've got loads on my hair, but it's really not very much. And again, I'm just going to smooth it through. I'm sort of grabbing my hair between my hands, doing some praying hands and smoothing it through, flipping back upright. I, you notice here that I can flip upright and then forwards quite easily. And once I have flipped upright, I find that I can flip forwards, upright, any direction, and my hair doesn't get stuck to my scalp as long as I do that shaking. Now we're going in with the Reflex Serum, which is a lovely light watery, it's almost like a very light watery gel. And um, it's just a really nice product. Um, all these products have a little bit of protein in them. Um, the Reflex is brilliant to use for a refresh. I actually have a number of videos showing that. Um, but it is also nice to use. I like it sandwiched between the cream and the gel. It just gives a little bit of extra bounce, I find, and extra shine. So just applying it just like I am with the other stylers. Lots of good scrunching. I'm doing flip styling, so I'm flipping my head in every direction. And now the high definition gel, which is a very kind of jelly-like consistency. Um, again, less is more. It's really concentrated. I really find um, you need tiny amounts. And obviously, you don't have to use all of these products at once. I wanted to showcase these products this wash day, so I used very small amounts of all of them. But they work really well alone or maybe just using two of them um, rather than using all four. So just again, scrunching it in really, really thoroughly. And you can see my curls are really springing up with this. And I've just raked through a little bit underneath. There's some hair that was stuck up there. So I'm just helping it to come back down again and giving it another scrunch. And always spending a little bit of special time just on the back of my head. Otherwise, it's always going to be a bit flat there and lifeless. So I do try and remember to just give it a little bit of extra scrunching while I'm at it. And then I'm using my fingers like a comb to just lift the hair away from my scalp. Uh, this step I find is just brilliant. And if I forget to do this, I do notice the difference. It gives me that root lift. And there we go. I diffused it to fully dry with my Dyson. And wow, I love this wash day so much. Super, super shiny and bouncy and just brilliant. So happy. Got my hair back. This is day two and um, this is one of the best day twos I've had in ages. I'll give you a little 360. And it feels so much better. So I haven't done anything to that this morning and I've had my hands in it a lot. I've been fluffing it and um, it's just it's just so good. I also did a DIY cut um, the day before I washed it, so two days ago. So I'll link my never remember which side it goes. I'll link how I do my DIY haircut if you want to see and try that. Um, so yeah, it's sitting a lot better because I needed to put my shorter layers back in, especially the corners of my head as I call them, these two sides. The hair seems to grow really fast here um, and be too long for the rest of the layers and it all kind of goes out. So anyway, I fixed that. Uh, but I was so happy and I was so like annoyed with myself. How could I forget to clarify? So let this be a reminder to you, a lesson to you, learn from my mistakes. Don't forget to clarify. And some hair types need to clarify more often than others. Some hair types find that they need to clarify like on a weekly basis, others monthly, others less. I don't find I need to do it too much, but clearly when I don't, it causes issues. But um, yeah, I hope that <laughs> my stupid mistake can help you not to make the same mistake clarify your hair. But that is it for now. I just wanted to share that with you and I hope that was helpful and I hope you're having a fabulous day and I will see you all again soon. Bye!